we will now trace the input circuit for F480. The plus 24 VDC goes to TB256-1, terminal 10C. Then to module 257-17 via the red wire. This is input module 257-17. The input module converts the 4 to 20 milliamp transmitter signal into a 1 to 5 volt signal. The transmitter is a current device, but other loop hardware is voltage sensitive, controller, computer, etc. Therefore, the transmitter signal must be converted to a voltage signal. The Veritrack loop components normally use a 1 to 5 volt signal. The input module contains a resistor network that limits the current that can flow from the 24 V DC power source to the field. The current limiting module, along with the design of the Veritrack transmitter, makes this system intrinsically safe. The plus 24 VDC power source is connected from input module 257-17 terminal 1 to TB255-6 terminal 1B. On the right is input module 257-17. On the left is TB255-6. They are connected to each other by a two-wire jumper. The wiring between TB-255-6 and IJB-407, TB-255-6, is a multi-pair cable. This is the cable leaving TB-255-6 and going to the IJB. IJB-407 TB-255-6, Terminal 1B, connects the plus 24 VDC power source to the positive terminal of the transmitter. This is IJB-407, TB-255-6, Terminal 1B. The multi-pair cable wire is on the left. The transmitter wire is on the right. Notice that the wire on terminal 1B is black. This is the transmitter. Notice the black wire. It is hooked to the positive terminal. Notice the negative terminal. It has a red wire on it. The negative transmitter terminal is connected to IJB-407, TB-255-6, Terminal 1A. Notice the red wire on TB-255-6, Terminal 1A. The current signal goes back through the cable to cubicle K1, TB-255-6, Terminal 1A. From there, the signal goes to input module 257-17, Terminal 3. This is TB-255-6, and input module 257-17. We are back where we started. The input current loop is almost complete. The signal passes through a 250-ohm resistor to TB-256-1, terminal 12A. TB-256-1, terminal 12A, connects to power common, or terminal 26 of the controller. Now the current loop is complete.
Here are the black, red, and yellow wires coming out of input module 25717. This is the current path we traced. It is the transmitter or input current path. All the current went from plus 24V to power common. No current went through the yellow wire. Can you guess why? The yellow wire is the 1 to 5 volt signal. The devices that receive the signal, such as controller and computer, have very high input resistance. Therefore, practically no current flows to them. Now work exercise number seven in your workbook. Now we will complete the input signal paths. But first, we will discuss a standard Veritrack input module in more detail. As we said before, the input module contains a 250 ohm resistor. What will the voltage drop across the resistor be when 4 milliamps of current is flowing? The voltage drop will be 1 volt for 4 milliamps. and 5 volts for 20 milliamps. Therefore, the difference of potential between the yellow wire and black wire will be 1 to 5 volts for currents of 4 to 20 milliamps. The input module has two functions. It enables the input circuitry to be intrinsically safe and it converts a current signal to a voltage signal. This is the complete process input signal path. The red line represents the 4 to 20 milliamp current path. The yellow line is the 1 to 5 volt signal to the controller and board recorder. Notice that the yellow wire which is the 1 to 5 volt process signal, is common to TB2561, terminals 11A, B, C, and D. This is TB2561, terminals 11A, B, C, and D. The terminals are electrically tied together inside the terminal block. Terminal 11C provides 1 to 5 volts for relay 5, chassis 251-2. This device is called a tripmatic. The tripmatic will allow a transistor operation at a predetermined value. For instance, if the tripmatic is set at 50%, a 3-volt signal will cause the transistor to turn on, producing an output voltage. This is the tripmatic card. The dial is the trip point. The transistor operation will cause a light to blink in a window on an alarm unit. and will also cause an audible alarm. The 1 to 5 volt process input also goes from TB2561, terminal 11D, to credenza recorder Y31.1 or pen number 1. This is recorder Y31. The red pen is point 0.1. 
the process input jumpers from controller terminal 9 to a board-mounted recorder. This is the jumper from the controller terminal board to the recorder terminal board. TB256-1, terminal 11D, also connects the process input to the computer. The signal path is TB256-1, terminal 11D, cubicle P1, TB43-1, terminal 4B, TB41-1, terminal 25-D, computer frame 23, location C, terminal 48+. Plus. TB256-1, terminals 12A, B, C, and D, are all common to signal common and power common. This is TB-256-1, terminals 12A, B, C, and D. This whole row of the TB is internally electrically common. TB-256-1, Terminal 12D, provides signal common for the credenza recorder. And the computer process value input. TB-256-1, Terminal 12C, provides signal common for the tripmatic. The board mounted recorder receives signal common directly from terminal 2 of the controller. All the devices, the controller, the recorders, the tripmatic, and the computer use signal common for reference. All the devices use the 1 to 5 volt process input for the signal. This drawing shows all the process input signals in red. This drawing shows signal common in green. The output from the controller is also a 4 to 20 milliamp DC signal. The signal path is from terminal 16 through the output module blue wire out of module terminal 1 through the I to P transducer and back to terminal 3 of the output module and through the brown wire to terminal 11 of the controller. The function of the output module is to current limit the output circuit to provide intrinsic safety. The output signal path is as follows. Output module terminal 1 to TB259-1, terminal 4C. TB255-6, terminal 2D. IJB407, TB255-6, terminal 2D, to positive side of the I to P. The negative side of the I to P connects to IJB407, TB255-6, terminal 2C. TB255-6, terminal 2C. TB259-1, Terminal 4A, to Terminal 3 of the output module. 
This is the output module for F-480. It is located above the controller terminal board. Now work exercise number eight in your workbook.